there's a strange story that I want to talk to you about, and it is both strange and it is also sad in a certain way. And the Huffington Post has reported that a Cleveland, Ohio pastor was missing from Sunday mass after allegedly soliciting sex from a park ranger, including presenting his penis to the park ranger, Lewis. This is a very, very odd situation. This is Pastor James McGonigal. And he was arrested after a park ranger says he found McGonagall masturbating in his car before the park ranger approached him. When the park ranger approached him, not realizing that it was a park ranger, he offered $50 to the ranger to help him, quote, get off, according to Cleveland.com. The park ranger says that uh, he was also told by the pastor that he was cruising, which is a term to describe that he was looking for sex. McGonagall uh, was, was allegedly actively rubbing his genitals with his hands over his pants as they spoke. And then at a certain point, he is accused of unzipping his pants and presenting his penis to the ranger. I have to tell you, Lewis, I've never heard of a presentation of genitals like it's just we, we've read we've had all sorts of odd stories and I've never heard this phraseology of presenting your genitals. Yeah, like on a platter or something. <laughs> very, very strange. It is very weird. So the man was placed under arrest and later he revealed that he is HIV positive. A search of his vehicle revealed three sexual devices and uh, also pig sweat, which is considered an intoxicant that can be sniffed to get a buzz. The ranger described the bottle's logo as having a pig man wearing buttocks free chaps. It is uh, called pig sweat. I have a couple of thoughts on this. Number one, the story is outrageous. He's HIV positive. He's he's looking for sex. Uh, uh, in many states, it is criminal to knowingly engage in sexual activity um, when you are HIV positive without disclosing it, as well as wearing a condom. But there's another issue here, which is, is this yet another one of these stings, undercover stings? Remember, the park ranger was wearing civilian clothing specifically targeted at gay men. Is it another one of these disproportionate uh, homophobic sting attempts that that is taking place? So that's another layer. And then the third layer, which is really the saddest layer, is as someone who emailed me said, this guy was probably 17 or 18 when he committed himself to his job as priest. Too young to make a wise choice probably happened before the gay rights movement could have done him some good. One of these things where since I can't have sex without sin, why not commit myself to a life without sin, so to speak? And that that really may be the saddest element here, where we have someone who clearly is dealing with some serious personal issues. Yeah, it could also be someone who's just completely mentally disturbed. We're, we're not 100% sure. We can't say with certitude. And as far as the park ranger sting thing goes, I mean, these things happen for a reason. To get guys like this out of the park, and I think it's a good thing. It, well, it it ha that's the that's the thing. This guy should not be in the park looking for sex. I completely agree with you. But we've covered a very problematic element of this, Lewis, and you you know about it, which is when there are these things set up specifically based in homophobia. And it's very difficult. Often we don't have more information here to distinguish one versus the other. In other words, was the park ranger really just walking around and happened to come across this guy acting in an explicit way in his car? Or was this one of these situations where this guy was set out there specifically to attract those who were looking for another man? And we have serious homophobic um, elements at the root of many of these things. So I agree with you, Lewis. This it is good that this guy isn't there. But we also have a huge problem with huge law enforcement resources being put into simply preventing men from finding other men. Right. But in a place like this, in a in a park setting, I can think of many reasons for there to be rangers in civilian clothing, not not just these specific instances. I right. think it, it could do a lot of good potentially. You're, it's a complicated situation, and uh, without having all the details, it's hard to say exactly what this was. Let's talk about today's bonus show. We will talk about more bad news from Foxconn, the manufacturer of various electronic devices in Asia. Also, a million dollars worth of street art were sold at a Central Park stall. 
and diamond rain on Jupiter and Saturn, plus much more. The bonus show, not only is it fantastic and hosted and produced by producer Louis Motomedy, but it also supports the David Pakman show. We do not receive funding from big corporate media. We are funded by you, individual listeners and subscribers. Go to davidpakman.com slash membership to sign up today.